Yeah. And women that, when they've been in the South on their own, they've been known to have somebody growl at them because the governor growls at them, or a warden, I think it was, hates women. And another woman came downstairs complaining, saying, You just scared the living, living daylight out of me. Um, the cop, cop started rocking. The ropes aren't connected to the cot. Are they not? No. <laughs> Hello. Is that again? <laughs> you got something different today, guys. We've come to, is it, how, do you, how do you pronounce it? Is it Bumaris? Bumaris. And we're going to visit a Victorian jail. This is it. It's a Victorian jail. Apparently it's been untouched for since it was built and they've turned it into a museum. But we get to go in there, we get to go in the cells, we get to go in the torture chamber apparently. Ooh, here we go. This is it. Right here. 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 Right Ooh, for guide dogs. So yeah, I'm gonna get my mask on and we're gonna go in this jail. I hope this is the only jail you are you guys ever go in, okay? Why? Because if you go in a jail, it, be, it means you've been naughty. What does this mean? Joint admission tickets goes to the courthouse as well. Oh yeah. Yeah, let's go and ask them. Let's go and ask them if they got a loo. Oh wow. Yeah, I'm gonna ask. That's the floor plan. What is Does she say the stairs? In this room. Did you wanna um, have a look see if there's anything in there? One here. So we're in the prison. Oh look at that. So this is the the laundry room. Yeah, there was another room, just not one there, but they, she said that it wasn't very interesting for kids. Just an information. Oh, wow. What's in here? Cool. Cool, you. Show them. Talia, right yeah, have a look in this room, love. <laughs> oh, so it rinses them. So you turn it and the clothes are under you, squish them together, so all the water will come out this side, and it'll be normal to dry when you hang them together. So let it dry. There's um, a hot iron there, you're going to put it on the fire to make it hot, so you could iron the nose. That's it. Yeah, so not that trick like ours. I know. Look at them. Shackles. So I like on their legs and stuff and arms. Make that look. Yeah, like this. So all the shackles. Men's workroom. Oh look, they make rope and stuff. There's all the rope in there. Toilet. Oh, Wait, what's the toilet in the This just looks like a cell. This is a cell. Like a cell, yeah. Toilet, toilet just by there. Oh, is this the drunk room? The drunk room? Yeah. 
It was a, it was a drunk cell. Hmm. Drunk. What, for drunk prisoners? Mm, yeah, another one. I know, it's weird, isn't it? Wait there, mate, there's another one by here, buddy. Oh, this is the drunk cell. The drunk's cell. There's people in there, isn't it? Wait, wait. Oh, it's only this little bit. Oh, look at this. Look at this piss head. <laughs> Yeah, um, I found the toilet. There's a toilet there. Yeah. In the early years of the Gauls' history, this wing was used to house, used as a house of correction. People who were not criminals but were deemed to be in need of correction were housed in the two end cells, so this one and the one we've just been in, with their wall cupboards. They were made slightly more pleasant than the criminal cells. After 1878, the building was used as a police station and lockup, and one of these cells became the drunk cell. No doubt it was chosen because of its remote location at the end of the corridor, as far away as possible from the sergeant's room, to ensure his nights were not disturbed. Drunks were often arrested on the street for drunken or disorderly behaviour or were picked up, senseless, from the gutter. They were brought here overnight to sober up before appearing before the magistrates the next morning. Notice a special bed with size to prevent the drunk from falling out. <laughs> yeah. Got a baby bed. Yeah. We know from their case papers that many occupants of this room, both men and women, were tramps, hawkers or vagrants without a permanent home. That's the casualties scary. of Victorian and Edwardian society on a wet or frosty That's night, scary. even a police cell may have seemed, shim in it, attractive compared to shelter in an alley or under a hedge. Details of perpetual drunkards were circulated around the local public houses in an attempt to deny them drink. However, as the records show, many adopted aliases, false names and ingenious disguises to get around the restrictions. The, these are the names of um, known drunks that would get drunk in order to come to the prison for, a, for overnight. But they, ha they used different aliases and everything. So the pubs wouldn't know it was them. They put disguises on so they could get drunk. Ooh. This was a police cell. Yeah. Yeah. Small, isn't it? Heads have definitely got bigger over the years. I'm gonna have a look at the other one. Look at that! See this stuff? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Sergeant! <laughs> That's turning that in, yeah, mate. That's turning that in, yeah. What's that? He's turning something up there. He's turning that in here. What's on the other side? ravaged by epidemics of gold fever, where magistrates and inspectors were afraid to visit. In the new reformed goals, Gales, the health and will of prisoners was important. This was an isolation room, so this helped, spread, helped stop the spread of disease. A prison surgeon visited weekly. He inspected all the prisoners on arrival. A baby. Weighing scales, formerly used in the Mars scale. Oh my god. So that was actually used. Born in here, in the and that was actually used. 
Oh, it says here, babies were sometimes born here. Bridget Riley, a young Irish girl and unmarried mother, gave birth to her baby daughter in this room in 1868. Bridget was in prison for receiving stolen goods, a, a solid watch. She was attended for two days by Mary Jones, the local midwife. The governor letter received a bill for 46 pints of ale consumed during the confinement. Bridget's baby died a few weeks later. Nothing further was known of of her after her release from jail. What's this bad boy? Oh, this might be a torture room, I don't know. I don't say on the outside what this is. That's like some sort of stretcher. I don't say. Come on. Oh, but look, I've been looking at my prisoners. I've been looking at the prisoners. Yeah, go over there. Go over there and let me have a look at these prisoners. Oh yeah, there they are. They're in there. Was this a cell? <laughs> Come on then, let's go and have a look. I think so. Just another cell. Oh, look, there's a cell. Oh, look, there's a cell. Oh, there's a cell. That's the toilet. There's people in there, man. The rooms are bigger than governor's room. If you look at um, when we went to the one in um, California, Alcatraz. Alcatraz, they were tiny little cells, weren't they? Yeah. Oh my god, there's a door up there. Oh yeah. So, this is the governor's room. Right, governor. No, do not go past that rope, okay? Oh, it's bright in here compared to the others. Whoa, there we go. Look at the size of the keys. Oh my god. Got keys back in the Victorian time. Look at the book, Dad. Look at that book underneath that book. And the lamps. Wait, did he read that book? And look, he actually gets plates. Yeah, he gets food up here. He gets pans. Oh my god. What a big book. Right, Gavna. I think that's the misconduct book, is it? So the one we went in was the governor's room and this was his office. Oh, yeah. This is where he would sit and do all his finances and stuff. No, I have no one room. Not yet. You can't go in. You're right, governor. Is there any down here? Dinner. Is this part of the jail we can't get to? Yeah, look, there's... I'm intrigued to know what's up there, yeah. Yeah, look, there's a like room a there, a ladder there. It's like an attic. Yeah. So it's like a room. Take a picture of it. Why is there a door? I'll read. I'll read it. Look, there's a door. Yeah, look, there's a door. Yeah, 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 there's a Oh, so they're the beds? Yeah. Oh, yeah, you're right. It's not structure. You're right. They're the beds. Yeah. Toilet. Mommy, that other one? That other one was a They're beds. Oh. They're beds. I knew they were beds. That was a hammock. Yeah, but how can you go toilet on that when your hammock is on it? <laughs> so this is Nathan William Griffiths, 13 years old. He can we can read or write imperfectly. Yeah. Attempted murder and sentenced to death. Attempted murder and he got death? Oh, this is a hard death. Attempted bed. murder and he was sentenced to death. It's a hard death. It's a hard death. He was a condemned soldier. A condemned um, prisoner. Who sleep on iron? Sleep a condemned who prisoner. Who sleep on iron? Can you see a picture of that? Or a t-shirt? Does he get a, a, a proper bed? Because he's going to die, is there? It's not a proper bed. That's really good. No mattress. I tell you, I am totally innocent of the blood of the old man. Oh, this is when you were in the bed. Yeah. Well, from red and white, aged 38, as well. 
Yeah, so I was just reading there in the condemned room. It was more spacious than some of the other cells. Yeah. And also the prisoners didn't have to work. They got visited regularly by religious ministers. Yeah. And in their final days, they could have family visit them too. Now, it's open work this time. Hangman's noose. I don't think that belongs in here, does it? I also have the map. If all the Oh, I can't. Yeah, this is a classroom or something, isn't it? Three calendar months for stealing poultry. Let's go. Let's go. I wonder if that's that that clock. Sure. The clock up there, slightly off. I wonder if that's the one they said that prisoner um, cursed. See it up there? They said one of the prisoners cursed the clock and it's never been right ever since. Yeah, it doesn't hold the right time because so it's 25 past nine. Exactly, and that's, that's slightly behind. Can I look in the nursery? This is the nursery. <laughs> Talia! Can I look at the baby? <laughs> um, it can't see. It can't see. Oh. Yes, we read, didn't we? There was a prisoner here that cursed. Yeah, no, I wanted yeah. To yeah, he cursed the clock tower, and it's never, ever since, it's, n it's never been able to hold the right time. Have you seen the slits made in the floor through which the ropes attached to babies' cradles? They could fall into the women's workroom below. Um, oh, by here. Yeah. By there. Ah, yes. Right there. It says um, they were in the world ones below and they could rock the babies and still work. That's mad, isn't it? <laughs> That's what he's on about to rock the um, cradle, isn't it? So, whilst they were working, they would rock the baby with this. Oh, Dad. What is it? Someone in there, working. Working. It says an inmate caught swearing will be punished or prosecuted. Oh shit. I'm, ooh, ooh. <laughs> right, let me out of here. This is what we want. <laughs> Punishment cell. Okay, I'm going there then. Hmm. I was looking forward to putting new kids in there. Oh, let's try the kitchen. So this is the kitchen. I love that word.
the wall all the way through anyway. <laughs> Stay there, minute, mate. Good, good lad. I don't think so, mate. Some sort of wheel, like. Oh, yeah. So the only person to step on the way, and it turns the wheel in it. What's it do, though? They're in the little room next door. There's a water pump that leads down to a, a well, and it pumped water up to a tank, which was a good Ah, oh, right. And that was like a primitive drain <coughs> to stop the wheel speeding up so fast <coughs> that they'd have to run, because they can't have that. But when the tank was full, it would just supply the goal with water. So, so pump all the water up. Yeah. That's cool. Whipping room. Oh, this is it. Show. This is the whipping room. Sorry. This is where the naughty people go and get whipped. Look, there's a whip by there. So they must tie him on air or something. Look. There's no whip. There. There's the whip there. Yeah, but it says no wet. <laughs> so you can't use the wet. Aww. I think we should have a photo for you. Yeah. When was it built anyway? And by who? Yeah. Yeah. Ah, oh, right. Here. But what they didn't know in the Bull Hotel was that he'd 
written a book called The Uncommercial Traveller, which was a description of his travels all over the world. And in one of the chapters he said, I once went to Engelberg to this inquest for this shipwreck. And I stayed in the most unawful hotel that you've ever been in in your life. <laughs> awful food, completely indigestible food, in ridiculous prices, and I will never ever go there again. <laughs> <laughs> so when the landlord of the ball found that out, right, he was obviously a bit embarrassed. So what he did, he cleverly invited Charles Dickens' great great grandson up to Anglesey to give talks on his great great grandfather's work. And he stayed at the ball, and he gave him an absolute slap up meal to apologise for the, the disappointment of his <laughs> And anybody in the, who lived in the town who could dress in Victoria dress would give him a free meal. So, ah, so, so that's where they used to hang people, Dylan. They? they used to walk them from there, through that door, and hang them in public, out on the street. Now, when the two guys were eventually hanged, and they were 32 years apart, they were buried within the confines of the show, but they didn't know where until quite recently. Um, we found the instructions that were left for the sections who actually did that job. And the first instruction was that they were not to leave any sort of headstone or memorial for them at all. So they were evil men who could be written out of history. The second instruction was that they could leave an indication as to where they'd be buried, but that would only be a steel bolt embedded in the wall of the jail immediately above the graveside. So we searched the jail and we found one, only one, which indicates that both the men were buried in the same place, albeit 32 years apart. And that would be relatively easy because these instructions to Sexton went on to say that not only they should be buried under this steel bolt, they should be buried in quicklime. So they would be completely dissolved and there wouldn't be anything left of them in the written off history. But the really strange one is that they were to be buried standing up. What? The reason for that was they were felt to be so evil that they weren't allowed to rest in peace for eternity. They had to suffer at the uncomfortable even for eternity until the end of time. <laughs> a, a bit mean, think about, so we searched and I said we found one and it's through here. Mm -hmm. come <laughs> <laughs> Here's the three very insignificant looking bolt, but it's the only it. one that actually leads to the Oh yeah. So there it is. So that's where they were buried? Yeah. So In the wall. <laughs> now we don't know whether they were buried standing up or not. Um, there's no way we can really find out. The only way probably is that they saw samples all over the jail. And if we get a predominance of uh, quicklime here, that probably proves that this was a burial area. And if it's a small area, it will probably buried like that. And if it's a big area, it yeah. probably buried like that. I think, I think there's some places where they did bury them standing up anyway. Yeah, they used to do it with witches as well, but witches are head down. No, I think there's a, <laughs> there's a country where they actually do bury them standing up. It's That's interesting, that. It's somewhere like Russia. Yeah, that's such a small country, it's not very interesting. Yeah, that's very true. Now, before you go, Matt, have any of you had any, uh, any strange, ghostly experiences while you've been here? Not Seen anything? Yeah. Felt anything? Yeah. Heard anything? No? Hey. Well, it's haunted. What? I was just about to say that. Can we come back later? <laughs> oh, what? Um, the one, one thing you would love, we, uh, two years ago in uh, Manchester, we had a dramatic people came here and they had five of their lovely actors who did uh, a five act play in the jail. But the actors stayed still and the audience moved around the jail. And it was in pitch darkness. And we gave the audience little, little lanterns, a very feeble glow, but it was good enough to see around the jail. And these five actors were playing the parts of ghosts who had some connection to the jail. And it was really quite wonderful. Um, they wrote me in as an extra, because I'm no actor. And uh, they had me creeping in the pitch dark with my lantern turned off. And suddenly lighting my lantern, and I could see the people coming down the body and going, oh, like this. And then I turned it off and just. <laughs> Really we have to do a haunted tour. Yeah. Oh, what? I don't know who this guy is, yeah. William Griffith. Hmm. <coughs> sure, who do you see those um, 
Who did you say those criminals were? Was it them two there? Was, that says burial place of them two there. No, they were not so horrific. They weren't like... Oh, you did Yeah, oh, two criminals, they were. So they done bad things. So they were masked out there through that door. In the street, they hung them. They hung them. They hung them. So they killed them by hanging. And then they buried them by there. So they probably done really bad things. Oh, what did they do in the street? Hung them like that. <laughs> That's what they done back then, love. They hung really bad what people. Did they do I don't know. Why is I don't. Know. Huh? Why is there a bell there? They probably ring it. They probably ring the bell to let everybody in the town know there's going to be a hanging, and everybody in the town would come and watch the hanging. Because back then everyone would come and watch these nasty people do, you know, they've done bad things. Get get their punishment. <laughs> just, just a quick question. Yeah. What's that plaque for? Who are those two people that's buried there? Those are the two guys who are hanged. But it is, is it? They got that in the wrong place. I they was going to say there before we knew about that. Cult. Yeah, I thought there was. Oh, that's just for our purposes, isn't it? In back, back, back then they wouldn't. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, yeah, right. yeah, I thought mod. that. Yeah, that's cool. Mod. Happy days. All right, cheers, yeah. buddy. Okay. Cheers. Cheers. That guy was awesome. He was brilliant. So this is one of the most haunted places in Wales. And gas man, if you're listening. They do haunted tours, yeah. I would, I would come up here and do a haunted tour. Here? Yeah, we'll come up yeah. and stay uh, here. Let's do it. Yeah, I would do what it. What do you reckon that, guys? Come here. That was good. What? That was really good. Did you hear what he said? What? So one of them is a governor, doesn't like women. Yeah. And women, that when they've been in the South on their own, they've been known to have somebody growl at them. Because the governor oh. growls at them. Or oh. a warden, I think it was, hates women. And another woman came downstairs complaining, saying, you just scared the living daylights out of me. Um, the co cop started rocking. The ropes aren't connected to the cop. Are they not? No. Nope. Oh. But a week so, yeah. last Tuesday, was a, wo a woman said that somebody growled in her ear. And, and a week ago. So, look at me guys, what do you think of that? Really so, nice. we're going to head over now to the courtroom, aren't we? To the courthouse, sorry. Courthouse, yes. Right that is amazing. That is amazing. 100%. So, yeah. Come I'm, here. If you were ever up this way, absolutely I'm come hoping it's it. picked it all up. I'm hoping you picked up his... his he was awesome. He was so, so knowledgeable. Yeah. His name was Roger. He was amazing. And definitely come and listen to what he's got to offer. And we'll see you over the courthouse. Yeah. yeah. So we've just come into Bill Morris, was it? Old Courthouse. Old Courthouse, yeah. Oh, look at this. Look at this. This is where all the criminals would come before they send them over to the jail. I wonder who sits where. So the doc, the person on trial, or the defendant, lived in a central cubicle. So they'd go over there. The end, just, there was rooms at the end to station prison. Is that the public, public thing over there? <laughs> I'm sorry to all them, people at home, friends and family. I said I'd never ever be seen in the court again. Guilty. Guilty. You're the incentive. No. no. I've been good. Uh, yeah, what's he doing up there? Yeah, guys, go go on either side of this guy by here. Dylan, go by that guy. There. <laughs> cool. He's like, he's giving him the Bracken finger. Reporters, so all the reporters go by here. What's that up there? Is that the public gallery? Yeah, you can have a look up there. This is where all the judges go and they wear wigs. They don't have that real hair in there. Hi, Mommy! Hi! So 
we got Bumaras Castle over there. Snowdonia in the background. What a view! What a view! Look at that mountains. Look at the view from the courthouse. Why don't you go in the public gallery? Oh, what? Uh, off with her head. Off with her head. Don't touch, it says. Please do not touch. Cole, come upstairs. That's it, down here. Children are just red actually, this ain't the, the public gallery area, gallery area that is over there. This is for the jewelry, the jurors, the jewelry stand. So they're up here, out the way. I'm gonna go down here, I'm gonna get a hammer, I'm gonna go, order, order, silence in the court. Come on, let's go down. Vision, you know. Is this the original door? Look at this. Holy crap. The old courthouse reopened following restoration and improvements by Lady Joan Ledwin of Penrose. 8th of June 2001. William Murphy murdered his former mistress on Christmas night, 1909. Oh. There's a lot of these here. Yeah. I wonder if that was for. Yeah, they probably have it. Yeah, the audio things. Come on, you guys. So that's a court. A tiny court. One courtroom. And I'm walking out, John. But yeah, just showing the outside of it. So yeah, this is the courthouse. White building, right next to the castle. So see if we can see this side of it. Not much in there, just one room. That was pretty cool, though, wasn't it? Yeah. That was pretty cool. Yeah. It's a bit bright, but yeah. So yeah, we done the courthouse and we done the jail. Now we're gonna go on the pier now. We're gonna maybe do some crabbing. So hopefully, I'll see you guys there. Yay! Bye. See you guys.